In this Inkscape video, I'll show you some special effects that can be achieved by using the stamping function. So I'm going to start by going over here and selecting the rectangle button. And I'm going to create a rectangle by pressing and holding down the left mouse button. Then I'm going to drag it down here to about that size and release the left mouse button. And this rectangle, I want it to have a border around it. So I'm going to right click and select fill and stroke. And that'll open up the fill and stroke control here. So I'm going to go over to the stroke paint tab and click on that. And then I'm going to turn this on by clicking this button here. And then I'll look at the stroke style. It says the width of the stroke is one pixel. So that looks about right. So now I'm going to go back over here and press the arrow button. Now my rectangle here, I'm going to be reusing this several times. So I'm going to make some copies of it and I do that by pressing Control D. And now when I press on the left mouse button and move this, you can see that I have a copy of it. And now I'll show you how to use the stamping function. The stamping function lets you make multiple copies of an object while you're moving it or rotating it in some way. And the way that you do this is you press the space bar down and you hold the space bar while you're moving the object. So I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button on this rectangle here and then move it around. So now I'll show you while I'm moving it I'm going to also press and hold the space bar. And as I do that, you see that multiple copies of this object are made. And I can use the stamping function while I'm rotating the object also. So I'm going to go back over here to my rectangle and click it. And I'm going to do Control D again to make another copy. And then I'm going to pull this copy down. And now when I click on this, the arrows change here. You'll see the corner arrows are kind of rounded. If I press the left mouse button on this and hold the left mouse button, you can see that I can rotate this object now. So now I'm also going to press and hold the space key. And then when I rotate the object, you see that the stamping function creates duplicates as I'm rotating. Let me show you another rotation example here. I'm going to go back up to my rectangle and Control D again to make a copy of it. I'll pull this down here. I'm going to click on it so that I can get the rotation arrows to appear. And then you'll notice this plus sign or X in the middle of the object here. If I put my cursor on that and press the left mouse button and hold it, I can move that. And what this does, this is the center of rotation. When I rotate this object, it'll rotate around this center. So if I go up here and left click on this rotation arrow, you can see that now I'm rotating around a different center than I did before. Now if I press and hold the space key while I do this, you can see that I get multiple copies of this in a rotation fashion. Now let me go up and make another copy of this rectangle. Control D again. And I'm going to pull it down over here. And then I'll left click on this. And again this this plus sign that shows the center of rotation. I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to drag it out to the right side here. And now when I left click on the rotation arrow, you can see it's rotating this way. So let me hold my space key again while I rotate this. And you see I get a different design. And I'll show you one more example using this rectangle. Go up here and I'll click on it and then control D again to make a copy. And I'll drag this over here. And I'm going to click on this again. 
And now you'll see at the very bottom of it, I'm going to left mouse click on this arrow here. And as I hold down the left mouse button, if I drag the mouse to the left and the right, you can see how it moves this rectangle. So now, starting from here, I'm going to hold the space key down again. And I'm going to drag this over to the right. And then I get another interesting pattern. So the stamping function allowed me to create all of these different shapes and patterns that you see here, all just using a simple rectangle. Now let me show you what happens if I use the Bezier tool. Let me make some room for myself here. I'm going to select the Bezier tool here from this button. I'm going to go over here and click the left mouse button to create one end of the Bezier line. I'm going to pull my mouse over here and left click again to create the other end. And then to end this line, I need to hit the Enter key on the keyboard. And now I'm going to go up to the arrow button and press that. Now this line here, if I double click on it, I'll get this slender little arrow. And then if I place this arrow on the line and hold the left mouse button down and drag this, you can see that two handles appear. And these handles, they let you specify what angle that this line intersects with the end point. So let me just pull this around to here and I'll go over to the other handle and kind of show you what happens as I move that around. So now I'm going to hold the space key again so I can activate the stamping function. And now when I rotate this, I get kind of an interesting shape here. It's an interesting shape that has a 3D look to it. I can even use the stamping function with a simple freehand line. So let me go select the freehand drawing tool here. And I'm just going to make a real simple wavy line. I'm going to go over to the arrow button and press that. And now I'm going to click on this object and I'm going to move the plus sign that indicates the center of rotation over here to the right. And then I'm going to left click on one of these rotation arrows and you can see that I can move this. So now holding down the space key, I'm just going to rotate this around. And this creates a circular 3D looking image. And I'll show you one more example using the star button over here. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button and make a star. And in this case, I'm going to change the number of corners on this star from 5 to 25. And then I'll also go here to this handle right here and I'll change the inside diameter of this star. Then I'm going to go up to the arrow button and press on that. And then as I left click on this star here and hold the mouse button, you can see that I can move this around. And now while I'm moving it, I'm going to also press the space key. And you can see here that I can create kind of an interesting pattern. So you can see that Inkscape stamping function is a nice tool for making different types of patterns. All you need is a little imagination. So play around with it and see what you can create. Thanks for watching and please comment on this video. Have a great day.